Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial of Power BI at Color Stack channel for SlideScope. In this tutorial, we will be analyzing Chicago car crash data set. So, as you can see, this data set released on data.gov contains all crash data from 2001 which happened in Chicago. The data set contains the date of crash, the speed limit, the weather conditions and much more. So, let's get started open power bi and connect the data so we have downloaded this data from kaggle again if you want i will provide the link of the data set in the description so this data set is in text csv format and we'll go to our directory where it can be yes let's load this and in the first part after loading the data you can see we have the crash record id rd number we have crash date estimate the exact crash date we have posted a speed limit like at the time of crash traffic control device we have uh, device condition weather condition lightning condition first crash type so you can see it has a lot of categorical variables uh, we have traffic weight type lane count which is null in most of the cases alignment straight and level and so on roadway surface condition whether it was dry or wet or unknown road effect we have report type crash type and we have some missing or like intersection related we'll analyze what this data is uh, this is the cost of damage and date pool is notified primary contributory cause and so on it has various variables so obviously uh, we'll be doing it in various parts we have a street name and different other conditions and we also have latitude and longitude of the crash so let's transform this data we'll see if uh, here we can you know visualize more so for example this column has most of the null values this is lane count so if you want you can you know remove data like this which you don't want in our case i think we'll just get it started with whatever data we have and we'll simply apply the changes As you can see, it is a data of more than 390 MB. That is taking some time to load. So now you can see our data set is loaded. And let's expand to view the columns. And what we are going to do is first we'll you know, explore this data. It will be a bit of exploratory analysis in this chapter. And let's analyze. So we'll try to analyze total injuries uh, with the as compared to weather conditions. So total injuries with weather conditions. Just try to analyze this. Obviously we are going to change all of this. So we'll take a bar graph and in the bar graph will as you can see these are the injuries reported not evident this is injuries total so on y axis we will put injuries total like how many total injuries were there it is showing a sum of total and here we will take weather type let's search for weather and this is the weather condition so as you can see here okay our first graph is like this when the weather condition was clear we have sum of injuries total now first we have to see what this data injuries total is so that we can you know analyze whether we have to do the sum or count so for this this is injuries total okay so this is 
indication of injury and we have yeah in in that particular accident number of injury so obviously sum is you know a better choice here so we'll do we'll go with sum and here we are counting total injuries you know with weather condition counting them and this is the data obviously we can go to this visual and we can increase the size of these values and you know we can play with the data we can change the title here we can uh, go to general and turn off the title and we can increase and decrease this what we want to do here is we want to go to effects and i want to change its shadow so let's see so this is total injuries with weather conditions and in the data it is clear that when the weather conditions are clear then we have injuries which is not likely what we were expecting but it is a case that most of the accidents took place in case of rain as uh, in case of clear weather now we can analyze the same data and we can because for every crash we have a crash id so we can also count you know total of crash id with weather conditions so again we'll have another chart here and in this chart on x axis we are going to take count of crash ids so let's see what the exact column name is crash underscore id record that would be crash is it not coming so we have crash record id here when it, we will drag it we will you know do the count of crash record id so we want to so we have to move it to y axis in order to get the count so now we have the count of crash id and on x axis again we, we will have the weather conditions the same thing so we will have weather conditions just a minute so on x axis we will have weather conditions and on y axis we have crash record id so again you can see it is a very much similar type of data total number of injuries 14602 you can see so uh, you can see a strong correlation between the data like the more crashes are there and the more number of injuries we have so this is something that we can that is something that is quite evident from this data now we have this as you can see we have the crash month also like january february and so on we'll try to analyze in which month do we have most number of crashes so again let's take this graph vertical bar and here because here we have to count on x axis right the number will be on x axis so count of crash record id will be on x axis because it's a vertical bar i i am just doing it to you know explain you how it can be done and then on for values for y axis we will have month crash month so after dragging it on x and y axis i will drag it to full screen and you can see that let's change the color so now we have this bar and we can clearly see that um, the most number of crashes are there in the seventh month so that is something that you can 
uh, that is the insight that we can get from the data. So this is what we can call month versus crash count. Next, we will try to find out in which hour, like we have done the month, but in which hour do we have maximum number of injuries. So we can take one variable, either injuries or number of crashes, because they are pretty much you know related to each other to understand. But we are going to take R here. So we have crash R. Crash R is something that we will put on X axis and on Y axis we will put total number of injuries. So we are going to do injuries total and on X axis when we do this because R is a numerical data it is going to sum it we will just write don't summarize. So this is something that we can see here, right? It totally depends upon which R. For example, if I drag my out, so at R number 16, the total number of injuries that we have is close to 10,000. And at R number 4, we have less. So the main point of this particular tutorial or this EDA is to First of all, explain you that in which situation we can create what type of graph and it is also to understand a bit more about the data set. So as you can see, in 16th hour, we have most number of this. Let's duplicate this page, it is injuries by R and as we want to check the correlation, this is crash count by R. Now all we have to do here is just replace some of injuries with crash record ID count. Just a minute. So as you are seeing here, when I'm dragging crash record ID, I cannot do this. And most of the times uh, students are not able to understand why is this happening. First try don't summarize here and then try to bring this. If it's still this is happening, what I have done here is I have created a measure here. So create a measure, just go to modeling, click on new measure and name your measure as count of crash or whatever you want and and here we have used the function count and traffic crashes this is the name of the table and then with a square bracket we have selected the name of column that we want to count click here to create your calculated measure if you want to learn more about calculated measures and calculated uh, columns and calculated tables. We have dedicated videos. We'll just drag it to y axis and then you can see the graph. Here, as you can see, there is a simple difference here, a slight difference here. In case of injuries by R, so in the 16th hour, we have the most number of injuries, like in a day out of total 24 hours, most number of injuries are there in 16th hour. And here we have a slight difference like in the 15th hour, we have most number of crashes. So these are the two graphs. What you can do is you can either copy this and you can draw them side by side also in order to compare them. This is one way. Obviously, when all of these graphs will be finished, when you will be done with the exploratory analysis part, what you can do is, you can try to create a story, you know, some kind of insight story with your dashboard. 
this. So then you can build a dashboard. But here we have these two graphs on one data. Obviously, you can go to visual and in markers, you can change you know different marker styles here. So this is what you can do here. In color, you can choose a different color. Let's select this. And since we are here, like in this graph, on X axis, we have the crash hour out of the complete day. And on Y axis, we have count of crash. Here also, we have the same data. Right? We have crash hour and count of crash. So you can do this and you can analyze this type of data. Now in these type of graphs, whether this or this, in these type of graphs, let's see we have different crash types also. We can use other categorical variables like crash type is either injury and or tow due to crash or no injury drive away. Suppose we want to visualize this here, like in which R. So now currently we are analyzing or comparing two variables, crash R and count of crashes. But we can also include in the same graph, in the legend, we can include another categorical variable. And here we are, you know, going crash type. So crash R count by R and crash type. So here you can see we have this. As you can see, no injury and drive away. This is more and in, in total count, right? And injury and or tow due to crash is less. So obviously there are less number of crashes where you know car, uh, driver or uh, they were not able to drive away the car and they had to tow the cars. So all of this can be, you know, all of these insights can be fetched from him. So as you can see, the size of these dots is also representing something. Currently, this size is just a small circle over here. But we can take a numerical value from here, our data, and put it in the size so that we can see. So as you know, these light blue are all cases where there was an injury and they had to tow due to crash. And in these blue cases, there was no injury. So obviously, if injuries were fatal, right? So you will see a big hair on this axis or on this blue dots, you will see a big size, a bigger size because these are representing injuries. So let's bring injuries total to size and you can see, right? So we have to check injuries fatal also, like how that data is given. So injuries fatal, yeah, it is given as zero or something. So zero, one, two, three, four, it is a indicator, right? It was zero, one, two, three, or four. So for example, here we have a smaller you know, injury and tow due to crash, right? Here we have a smaller circle. And you can see bigger circle here, right? Bigger circle here. So what we are trying to do here is we are trying to, you know, put multiple data variables into one graph so that we can get more meaningful information out of it. Now this is the first part of this particular analysis, car crash, Chicago car crash analysis with Power BI. In the next part, obviously it will not be just this basic because it was requested by a student. So we made a very basic, you know, a chapter where we are trying to understand, try to explain how to create different type of graphs and then how you Imagine a dashboard, like what type of data you want to put on a dashboard so that it represents a story. In the next part, we will do more meaningful analysis.
सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न मोर पावर बी आई और एनी थिंग रिलेटेड टू डेटा एनालिटिक्स इफ यू हैव डाउट्स यू कैन आस्क इन द कमेंट सेक्शन थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग हैव अ नाइस डे